hi guys welcome back to a new vlog uh mine's the state of me is like 10 p.m i'm starting to vlog at 10 p.m but i have my um i thought i vlogged the week weekend because i had the girls come in tomorrow so me and mia and nivi are coming over um i'm gonna like i'm baking a cake right now for tomorrow and then yeah my sibling's gonna come over we're gonna do some vision boards with my sister so yeah i thought i'd just vlog my weekend oh she's crying oh she's a little poor she's so funny like honestly Oh, you would. <laughs> so yeah let's go make my cake i'm actually making carrot cake i haven't made it in so long i'm following cupcake Gemma's recipe i'll link it in the description box but i have the recipe so i've got everything all kind of set up i've got my cake tins ready so yeah we're just gonna start mixing get my, my new mixer out hubby gifted me the smeg electric uh, whisk for christmas because he knows i love baking and i didn't have one and i bought this really cheap one uh from tasco like it was like 15 pounds and it was really not strong like when it was on a full speed i could like put my finger in it it was really not strong i was still able to bake with it but yeah back home i was just using my mum's and i didn't have one so yeah this one's really really good like it's so good guys Right, the cakes are in the oven. I've got 28 minutes to clean everything. I still need to make the icing, but I think I'm gonna do that a bit later. Um, yeah, I might clean a little bit and go take a shower. Right, so dishes are done. It's all nice and clean. And the cakes, oh my God, they've risen so much. Right, hair's washed. I actually hate it with a passion when my hair is oily. Like, I don't know, I've probably mentioned it before, but it gives me such a headache. But anyways, I'm having dinner. I'm sharing, um... I'm sharing half a pizza with hubby and I'm gonna watch the morning show. I've been obsessed with it, it's on Apple TV. I always eat Tabasco with my pizza. I don't know if you guys have tried this, but it's bomb. Another thing I've been liking is this ginger beer from Tesco. Uh, it's by the brand called Fever Tree and this like, it's quite spicy and I think that's why I like it. It's very gingery and it's a fizzy drink, but yeah, you can mix this with alcohol, but I just like it on its own. Um, it kind of like burns your nose like mustard does. I don't know, I just really like it. <laughs> I know, I'm weird. But yeah, as I was saying, being obsessed with the morning show, it's got Jennifer Aniston in there, and the acting is just on point. And I don't think I've ever seen Jennifer Aniston as kind of like the mean guy. And then there was another show called... There are so many bomb shows on Apple TV like we I did not know of, and... I've been obsessed with it, so I watched um, Defending Jacob, which it just plays with your mind like crazy. Um, it definitely makes you question your morals, like whether whether it's unconditional if if unconditional love is more important than your like morals. I don't know. It's it really makes you question yourself. It's it plays with your mind. It's so good. Definitely, I recommend Swan Song. Another thing that kind of questions your morals. It's really kind of cold. Mm. that is the cake done i might actually try a piece now before i serve it to them just to make sure it is good or is that just me trying to make an excuse to have one now i don't know they won't mind it looks pretty good inside i like it it definitely needs to go in the fridge but I didn't have a grinder or mixer to grind the walnuts so there's kind of like some big pieces in it because I kind of like whacked it in a sandwich bag which was a bit difficult so there's some like chunky pieces in there which I don't like but I hope they'll like it I don't know we'll see tomorrow so I just had a busy day of filming and I wanted to show you our new bed by Xenus UK 
So this is our new bed. We went for the super king size. It was kindly gifted to us by Xenus UK. Xenus do a wide range of mattresses and they also have furniture including bed frames. And one thing I love about them is that they have various styles at different price ranges to suit your budget. So yeah, you can basically make your home look as stylish as you want it to be um, and still meet your budget. And I built this whole bed myself. I mean, I did ask some help from my hobby towards the end, but most of it I did myself because it's so easy to assemble like everything is stored in the bed uh, frame and you it's just so quick and easy everything's mostly done for you. you just have to put a few parts together they provide the tools I mean it's way 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 easier to build than IKEA furniture I'm just putting that out there and guys the frame itself is so sleek like it just looks proper modern proper fancy added some cushions got some our white beautiful sheets i'm in love guys now the mattress that we got is the ultima comfort memory foam mattress we got the 25 centimeter one and yeah this is what it looks like it's very thick and we've got the zinus logo here and it's the comfiest thing ever like it's not too hard it's not too soft it's just super comfy it's delivered right to your door and so easy to unroll and yeah Xenus is available at Amazon and Wayfair so I'll leave links below of my bed frame and the exact mattress that we got and yeah definitely check them out guys and thank you so much to Xenus for collaborating with me on this video and for gifting us our bed we absolutely love it and yeah you can tell guys it's amazing it's so good it's so sturdy I can't rave enough about it you guys know I only talk about good good stuff on here this is our first flat together so we really wanted something you know really good and we're really pleased with this bed honestly every time we have guests over it just like instantly catches your eye and everyone's just like wow like the bed is amazing guys I love my bed so much it's so pretty how cute is this guys Mia is not even here and she got me a plant and I've been eyeing so many plants because I do want to put um some around the apartment but this is beautiful and i have the I uh, fake ikea version well not exactly like they have similar leaves and yeah i'm just so excited it's so nice having plants like real plants and the sky is just there uh, chilly i put some makeup on and i'm just cooking some pasta for the girls because i really wanted to cook for them because i don't know like, i just love cooking food whenever i have guests over so i'm making my bomb butter chicken lemon pasta thing and the sauce is cooking the girls are here Hello. 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 did you do the um the cooking vlog yeah i cooked a bit because oh i already did a video on this guys yeah. yeah, i'm waiting look at that i just dropped it on the table <laughs> mia's drunk no <laughs> no <laughs> my god we we took some Honey, got we'll some shots here the <laughs> so yeah, dry. there's nothing in there nothing <laughs> are you okay <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. There's <laughs> nothing there. Put it down. <laughs> Look at you. Did he have, did he have a whole shot? Time for boomerangs. <laughs> Ready? Cheers. Cheers. What's this? This one. Oh, oh. oh it kicks in after. Oh, that's nice. Mia and Nivi are playing. Oh, I played against oh, Mia and she yeah. came 12. Shut up. She wasn't Shut even. Up. She I haven't even played in a long time, okay? This girl probably plays it like every day. I actually don't, but she pre she's pressing on B instead of A. I know. Uh, to accelerate. Say, accelerate. <laughs> okay, well, you practice now, so you got no excuse. Yeah, now I'm gonna come for you. <laughs> Who's who? I don't I'm understand. literally dying to make yeah, my I'm coffee for them oh, all. Yeah, the okay. My new coffee machine. <gasps> we have a game. Her, name. <gasps> her outfit's on point. Um, morning, guys. So today, uh, my sister's actually gonna come over soon because we need to go pick up like some canvases for our vision boards. It's quite bright. Um, it is so cold, but I thought I'd put a bit of makeup on because I like li literally look like I'm dying every day. I don't know what it is, but I thought I'd put a bit of makeup on. It's so cold, so I'm just wearing joggers and a jumper. I need to do a bit of clean up because when the girls left yesterday, I was so tired because I barely slept. Like I've been sleeping at like 3, 4 a.m. every day, which is so bad. And so like, I literally took a shower and went straight to bed. So now I'm gonna do a bit of clean up <laughs> um, before my siblings come and 
yeah, it's just gonna be a super chill day. Yay, it's all clean. And in addition to adding bleach to your drains, I definitely recommend this stuff. They have so many scents, I might grab another one today, but the lemon, you can't just beat. This fresh lemon scent is just so clean smelling, like I definitely recommend this. And I always put a little drop in the drain and it just makes the whole house literally smell fresh and clean. I don't know where this goes, but it's cold. I tie my hair up, oh it is cold. I'm just waiting for my sister to come pick me up. We have our canvases. Well, look at the small one my sister got. Those are my favorite ones. Ah, be careful with these. Where did that come from? Sky this new toy and I think she loves it are we good yes we're good we're good yes we're good. I was just been I was in a weird mood this morning and I'm just finishing the morning show and oh my god guys doing our vision balls was so like fun and therapeutic like it was really nice doing that with my sister so yeah it's my first time doing a vision board so yeah when you see it all in like on a page like it's quite like i don't know it's just, it gives this like really motivating feeling i managed to find a pot a plant pot on amazon for 10 pounds and it looked really good it's like a plain white one and um, but it, it was important for me to find the one that fit the pot so yeah well that's coming tomorrow so we'll see tomorrow what it looks like I need a cuppa. I need a cup of tea. Aceaps. <laughs> oh, I, this is a new one. I don't know what the hell this is. Shall we taste it now? But yeah, I don't know which one I'm going to grab actually. I've been obsessed with just the simple, you know, the basic one. This one right here. But then I also love the custard one. And then uh, I had the caramel one already, which is my favorite. Let me try, let me try this one. I don't know what this is. What the hell was that? <laughs> ah! Who dis who decided to invent that? I don't know. Like look in like look inside of it. What is it? It's just like this crumbly stuff. Nasty. Mm -mm. My little bobsies. So I've been hooked on this stuff thanks to Mia. Mia loves beauty on Insta. I refuse to drink any other tea. This literally tastes like tea with biscuits, but without the biscuits. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's so good. bits from amazon this book called happy sexy millionaire it's by stephen bartlett and this is a guy that did that podcast with molly may that's just been literally been going around i've heard really good things about it especially from saffron barker and anastasia kings north i think and then my sister got it and then she said it's amazing so yeah excited to read that this is my plant pot i thought it was ceramic it's actually plastic but it looks ceramic, so we'll go we'll go with it. So this is the plant that Mia got me. I think I didn't measure it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now I can put water in it. Apparently that's gonna get really big. Oh I love it. Got a label on here and it says, Hi, I'm Sharon. 
I'm just finishing the night with some It's Judy's live vlogs, my absolute favourite. Like, I literally like crave her vlogs, like I just love their family so much. Before I go, I thought I'd read a little snippet from the Happy Sexy Millionaire book that I got because I thought I was cleaning up and I just sat down to read a chapter and this chapter really spoke to me. So I'm just going to read this quick thing. It really like hit me like okay so this is the last quote in chapter one maybe you've always been happy but the world social media and external comparisons have convinced you that you can't possibly be and that is so true when i was listening to the molly may podcast with stephen bartlett when she's saying like I'm, I'm never satisfied i always want more i was i always want when i reach a goal i always want to move to the next thing and like i always want more 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 but then it's like when are you when are you happy and it's like maybe th this whole time we were happy it's good to have goals and aspirations in life but that mentality of always wanting more 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 means like when do when does it mean that you're happy i feel like it can be a bit toxic and yeah that really hit me guys just wanted to include that in the vlog and I cannot wait to read this book. I'm reading two books now at the same time. I don't know how I'm gonna... Do you guys read two books at the same time? Maybe I should finish my other one and then move on to this. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for all the support that you guys show on here and on Instagram. Like, I really appreciate it and yeah, it just doesn't go unnoticed. So yeah, again, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!